Hello, D Nation, and welcome back to a diecast motorcycle unbox and review episode. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing the Kawasaki Ninja ZX7R, which is a limited edition 118 scale diecast motorcycle replica manufactured by Maisto. So stay tuned with me on this one, and let's get this started. Well, what we're looking at today is a 118 scale licensed diecast replica of the Kawasaki Ninja ZX7R, which is a limited edition manufactured by Maisto. And at first glance, this diecast motorcycle looks quite premium and has a good build quality and also has quite a bit of detailing to it. And this model is manufactured mostly of diecast and a few components made of ABS plastic, which makes it premium looking. This model measures in at 4.8 inches in length, 3.8 inches in height, 2 inches in width and weighs in at about 110 grams. This model also comes with trademark paint apps with standard branding details and also has free rolling wheels, a kickstand, excellent suspension and a lot more intricate details which makes it a premium collectible which is functional as well. And I'm glad I made a choice to get this variation as I'll be able to add it to my ever-growing 118 scale licensed diecast motorcycle collection. And with this model you're guaranteed a replica which is built to last and will warm the hearts of any diecast motorcycle collector or hobbyist. And so with that being said, now let's take a closer look at the exteriors of this motorcycle. And with that out of the way, now let's place this diecast beauty on the Danation Dino and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. And kindly find further features and specifications regarding this amazing diecast motorcycle replica in the description below. Well everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with this premium diecast motorcycle. And so with that being said, now let's place this diecast model on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this beauty in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. Kawasaki aircraft initially manufactured motorcycles under the Meguro name. Having bought an island motorcycle manufacturer, Meguro Manufacturing, with whom they have been in partnership with. This eventually became Kawasaki Motor Sales and some early motorcycles displayed an emblem with the Kawasaki aircraft on the fuel tank. During 1962, Kawasaki engineers were developing a four-stroke engine for small cars. Then some of the engineers transferred to the Meguro factory to work on the Meguro K1 and the SG, which is a single-cylinder 250cc OHV. In 1963, Kawasaki and Meguro merged to form Kawasaki Motorcycles Company Limited. Kawasaki Motorcycles from 1962 through 1967 used an emblem which can be described as a flag within a wing. Kawasaki's engine division was housed in a single office complex in Grand Rapids, Michigan, consolidates research and development projects for engines. And for further information on Kawasaki, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this 118 scale diecast motorcycle replica that is featured in today's video, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested and also please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts on this amazing diecast motorcycle. And kindly continue to support D Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And please do check out the rest of the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the playlist below. 
And this brings us to the end of this amazing Unbox and Review episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for a lot more exciting and all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.